Very well. Welcome back to Let's Play The Other Crimson Eclipse. Last time, we reached Dragon Castle. Spoke with Maester. We now know what our mission is. We also encountered the Sabbath trio. Macbeth, Romeo, Ma well, Romeo, Macbeth, Julia, then Shylock. And now we're just going here to rest a little bit before heading out to our next objective. The mission Maester gave you, what is it about? Simply put, we need to get to the regional laboratories. Reason has an important update about his research on the new energy source he's been extracting from the red crystals. The first stop is Port Ismail. There we'll meet Galleon Verdegris, the commander of Ismail Marine Division. He'll take to us to Amistia on a ship. Once he reads me, we'll go straight to the Resent Labs. That doesn't sound hard. And yet, why did Maester require your help specifically? I don't know, he hasn't mentioned these reasons. <laughs> What's so funny? I can tell you don't trust me yet. What? I'll be honest, Seth. I overheard your talk with Maester. Something important happened two years ago, am I right? And that something has to do with this new energy source. Oh well, don't worry, I won't force you to spill the beans. Listen, Rudra, you saved my life. I know that. Whatever you're doing, you mean well. Yet, can you blame me for not getting what your goal is? Why have you followed me all the way here? You know I could use some help, but to go as far as to offer me to be my bodyguard. You're right, I'm at fault for not making my motives clear. You have nothing to fear from me, though. I'll let my enemies know I'm coming as a matter of honor. There's no place for lies on a shaman's path. So I can tell you this much about myself. As you have lost your people, you cherish, so have I. If you ever want to talk about your losses, you can count on me. Let's rest now. We have a long journey ahead of us. I can't sleep. Uh, I thought I'd sleep like a stone. Rudra? He's not here. He must have gone for a walk. Well, maybe I need to take a walk as well. Yeah, we better go ahead and do that too, I mean... Nothing bad can happen, right? What the? Okay, we're alone against two of these guys, but they should take like two or three attacks to kill each, so we're just going to attack. Yep. They have machine guns, but they don't do a lot of damage. And again, if our dexterity is good enough, we can just take them down two hits before they even get a chance to attack us. Or even just even once, maybe. Well, these guys usually drop healing cords, which is fine, which is nice of them. Next time. What's going on here? Assassins? We're all in danger then. I need to find Rudan and Warlord Master before it's too late. Now, if you check the corpses of these guys, I think. Oh no, it's dead. One of them. Yes, you get you gain a guard of the shard Venoma, which is kind of rare to this point in the game, so I gladly accept it. So now. By the way, I think, yeah, okay. You can actually skip this event and you will skip anything, everything that will happen down there. So if you want to skip a part of the game, you can do that, but it's highly unadvisable to do so because Rudra is here. Set. So yeah, if you skip that, that event up there with the menu trick, you skip this and Rudra does not rejoin your party until much later in the game when he's forced into it. Which is kind of weird, but that's something you can do. I'm just gonna point those out with the things you can do with the menu trick, because I've tried them. I've been there. There are a few things here you can actually exploit with this with that menu trick we learned last time. And there's some funny dialogues that you can do. You can do, but yeah. Who are these men? I've got no idea. We need to protect Lord Maester. Let's go. Yeah, join my party. Here you go. I don't think any one of those are anything on them, though. Right, now they don't have it. They don't have anything. Now, I want to go under mastery here. 
And I think I can now learn one of them. Yeah, because each of those abilities which already have a, are available cost 1,000 AP to learn. It just so happens we have 1,000. So I think I'm gonna learn Bear's Endurance, which increases the resistance of each party member. Now I'm gonna learn that, and then I'm gonna go to set up Bear's Endurance, and I'm gonna set it to level 1. And soon, I'll be able to explain how that works. This is serious. Okay, can't go that way then. Let's go down here. By the way, that's actually mandatory. You have to see that explosion before heading down here. It looks like you do not know the way. I do not know the way. Show me, Ruder. Show me the way. And I think it should be able to take care of... Yep. Oh, that one is dead. Wow. They have 300 HP, I think, so... That just already killed it. Okay, I think I'll just defend once with sad recovers some HP, conserve my health. And yep, these battles are really easy. Looks like you need to train some more. Nah, I'm fine, Sad, I'm good. Thank you so much, sir. Where's Lord Maester? Lord Maester is safe, my team is taking care of him. Commander Yolda, Sheridan, sir! What's going on? Raiders under attack, those assassins are everywhere! Valiant, I'll go with Rudra. Stay here and protect Lord Meister. Of course, be careful out there. And we're now in town. We must stop them before they kill innocent people. I mean, if they're trained assassins, I think they will have a target rather than just go around and kill innocent people. What a case, have. Let's... Let's have it, have it your way. So we can take care of one. Nice. And I'll just defend a couple times to get back some HP. Trust me, in this way, the battles do last a little longer, but you do conserve your health. You conserve healing items. And especially if you're playing hard, the beginning is kind of rocky. Later, when you get access to more skills uh, and generally more party members, you don't really need to do this too much. But unfortunately, the beginning is what it is. Well, this happens in pretty much all difficulties, but in hard more than others. Ugh, they keep coming! Look, Seth, there's something there. Oh no, that sign! Scarlet Worms. What the hell do they want from us? Scarlet Worms, you say? They are a criminal organization based in the Mystia. They deal in smuggling, blackmailing, counterfeiting, and contract killing. I think you can guess what they came for. We need to go back to the castle. Maester might be in danger. <laughs> huh? Lord Maester? <laughs> He's not the one who should fear us. What do you mean? Stop. Move and you're dead. Alpha team, our target is downtown. Leave the castle at once. I repeat, our target is downtown. Leave the castle. Over and out. What the? Finally. Two long years. You're back, you scum. We failed today, but the revenge goes on. You'll never rest easy. I'm their target? Calm down, Seth. If, if these worms think I'm letting you die, they're in for a rude awakening. Or for a Rudra awakening. I hope I'll stop doing those puns. Let's find a safe spot. No, Rudra. I know it's dangerous, but I have to find out why they want me dead. I'll go ahead. You go back to the castle. You're risking your life if you stay with me. Boy, if you go on ahead on your own, you're as good as dead. I'm coming with you. End of discussion. Let's go then. Rudra spawns are good, but I'll try not to make him too much because I'm just. I'm just no. Every time I make one, I'm just. How could I do this? Hey there, how are you doing? Uh, I'm hard, but it's only a flesh wound. Here, you need this more than I do. Well, thank you for the items. 
I'll probably never use them, but thanks anyway. Okay, I think down here is blocked. Yeah, okay. I think we have a battle coming up, let me see. Yeah, might as well heal set quite and Rudra too. Uh, do we have any? No, we only have a bunch of healing quarters though. They're a bit wasted though. A couple of food rations, bread, 10% of my max HP. I guess I use my food rations. There you go, might as well. They're gonna be sitting in my inventory for the whole game otherwise. I'll end this. Leave. You don't stand a chance so, now we're fighting this guy. We meet again, you scum. This will be the last time though. We'll see about that. Now we're actually going to try to make use of that master skill we have there, Poison Stab. Okay, never mind, maybe not, because I have to defend the heal. Oh uh, god, really? Okay, I have a lot of HP, so I might as well keep going to keep attacking. So, the deal about the Mastery Gate is that every time we use attack or skill, that little gate on the right goes up. Now, because I've set a skill to level 1 that says plus 30 resistance, as long as that gate is above level 1, my party gains plus 30 resistance. Unfortunately, I still am not right there yet. There you go, now I have food resistance to bought my party member. See, the problem is that if it drops, I lose that buff. Which kinda sucks. Alright, I'll have to defend here. I need to recover some HP. And I need to heal Rudra. So, that's the deal. Unfortunately, as you can see, with two characters, not really you can use it that much. And you end up having to use items because you just get wrecked. And you even can't raise that gauge to level 1. Oh, that does a lot of damage. That's spirit based, shit. Take this. Can I guess another tune of set? Not again. Okay, he's defending, it's fine. Defending cuts damage in off, I think, so. We're fine if we defend a little bit. Okay. Okay, I can defend with Dura. And now that he's got an exceed ready. Yeah, I think he can just end the fight. There is no shame in admitting your defeat. You won't be so lucky next time. I'll see you soon. They wanted to kill me. I imagine one makes a few enemies when he works for the Empire. That's true, but I don't think I've stepped on anyone toes so hard that they might want me dead. Sure, I did send a few guys to jail, but none of them have connections to the Scarlet Worms. Not that I know of. Well, what they were looking for is the revenge. Are you sure you don't know what they were referring to? No, I have no idea. Those ma two masked assassins were Vardans, I'm sure of it. Well, one of them was, at least. Dale and Fangs give your people away. True. But they were both wearing a Vardan school as a mask. It is in our culture to wear the school of a loved one when you're out for revenge. It is an invocation of the spirit's wrath for being murdered. I, re I really don't remember. Look, I hadn't noticed earlier, but even the cl though it's cloudy, we can still see Aretil's two moons. Indeed, right before those assassins attacked us, I came here to pray. To pray? We Vardans pray before the moons. The spirits we worship come from the sky. And they're the only source of magic left on Ariathale. Spirits are important to us, especially to shamans such as myself. I didn't know about this. Well, better get some sleep. See you tomorrow, Rudra. Alright, I'll stay here for a bit longer. 
Sure. Spirits, give me strength. It's time to go. Let's head to Ismail, to the south. We'll take the western bridge. Ismail is not too far that way. Alright, rise and shine, Seth and Rudra. It's time to begin our mission for real. But before we do that, we might take a little side quest, which is a missable one. And if we don't take it now, the game will actually warn us. I believe if I go down here and try to leave this place without doing it, this area contains some extra elements and you will only be able to obtain them in this part of the game. If you abandon the area now, you will not be able to collect them again. Pretty nice of the developers to tell us this so we can go back and check. And where we need to go is the library. To talk to some people we've met last time. Guess who those people might be? Ah, look what's there. Heard Zeridan. Still here, Shylock? Hey, listen, do me a solid, will you? I'm not giving you any money and no pounds of flesh. What did you take me for? I'm not miser. Listen, I'm busy. My brothers aren't here yet. I have to talk with them. About... things. I'm sure they're around doing nothing at all. Would you please go and talk and call them for me? Sure, I'll do that. Thanks, Seth. We have a new mission. Shiloh can't find his siblings. Where are they? Probably around doing weird things. Well, I just happen to know where each of them is. So, I'll get first the one that takes the most time to get to. Because... He is outside. Where the soldiers are training. There's Macbeth. Also, I have not acknowledged last time, but there is a luck test here. We'll get back to that eventually. Hey, Seth, what's up? Macbeth, your brother's waiting for you in the library. Yeah, I figured as much. Look at those cadets, how they run. They are standing still, Macbeth. Okay, now they're running. Well, it's not like girls in bikinis wouldn't make for a better view, but watching these guys struggle, we'll have to do. Besides, look how fast they are, even in full armor. It's almost like they're wearing nothing at all. And the coordination of movements, the perfect catalyst, the rhythmic shift of the joints, every drop of sweat is a sacrifice to ambition, the will of becoming the greatest vanguards of present and past, just like General Chesterfield, or Horus, or like you. What a wonderful world, each living being, every breath we draw, Every single movement, everything has its own story and reason. Am I boring you? Dude, you always speak that much? Am I the only am I the one who talks too much? Or does everyone else talk too little? That's debatable, isn't it? I'll tell you again, your brother is looking for you and you should go to the library as soon as possible. Uh, Alright. Sorry for bothering you. As a way to prove the sincerity of my apologies, ever present. Running shoes? Thanks, Macbeth, I guess. No problem. I know we caused you some trouble in the past. Better get going. Wouldn't want to keep my bizarre brother waiting. So the running shoes aren't really that big of a deal, honestly. So, let's check them out. Just so you know what they are. Increases the chance of flee from combat. They drop our resistance to increase our dexterity. Honestly, not worth it. Resistance at the beginning of the game in the early phases is a big deal. Because you're mostly going to fight against enemies that will deal physical damage. And you don't have a lot of HP to back you up. So if you start dropping your resistance from other statistics, it might not be the best idea. Just so you know. Wait, it's not this way. Macbeth is not there. I mean, Macbeth. I found Macbeth. You can find Julia now. But I know where she is. Hopefully. I can't believe those green pearls are made of Atlas. The people are starving all around Ariofield, and here in the castle, we waste precious sources of energy to decorate the statue. Good day to you as well, Julia. Sorry, Seth, it's just. This makes me so angry. How can our rulers be so wasteful? 
calm down. I was looking for you. Your brother needs you. Yeah, yeah, I know it's in the library. I just can't leave the stuff here. Juliet, what are you doing? Uh, done. Finally. Set, your weapon uses awesome technology, doesn't it? Yeah, that's why I've got standard orders. Alright, then here you are. You need this more than our stone guest ever will. Don't you think that's... Just take it. And we get our colonia. I'll go see my brother now. Bye, Seth. See you around. Alright, before we get to... Shylock, let's see what we got from Juliet. So we got Kelonia, which enhances our resistance. I'm not sure if I really want to do that. Well, Ruda's 115 resistance, holy god, it is so cool. Also, what we got from the attack of the assassins is this. Bleed Seal and Crisis Resistance 100%, which is nice. It immunizes us from those three status effects. I remember, to you, Bleed is loss of HP, uh, Crisis is loss of SP over time, and Seal is silence. So yeah, that can be interesting. If you're worried about those three status ailments, which are kind of pretty bad, you can equip this. For now, I think I'm just gonna stick with my Taurus. It's gonna give me plus seven strength. Yeah, I think... I don't think I'm gonna switch to Colonia. I'll just keep it. I don't need that much, that much resistance. I mean, I do need resistance. But not so much that I'll sacrifice the 7 point of strength or 7 resistance. At least not now. Hey Seth, use the Atlas well. Hey Seth, how's it going my friend? Thanks for your help Seth. I won't forget about it. You're welcome. Here, take this. A little reward for the effort. We don't know what it is exactly, therefore you can have it. We kept it for 5 months. I was getting tired of it anyways. Hmm, thanks, I guess. That's a Goya short, and that's a miserable one. If you don't do this quest before you leave the castle, that's missed. Uh, so I think, yeah, it's complete, okay. Now we can actually leave the castle for good. Also, I think I can check with Ark as well while I'm leaving, because I'll be back in the world map. And I can see I'm doing with treasure chests. Might as well do it before we end the episode, so we can wrap that up. So a new location opened to us south here, halfway through the map. It's the bridge of Nighting Rail and Ismail. We're gonna go there in a second, but let me just check on with Ock. And see how we're doing with treasure chest. Hi Ock. 16. We all play through. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get to 30 before leaving this region, so we'll probably have to wait to come back to grab that reward. Oh well. So now we're gonna go here to the bridge uniting Rayel Ismail. Oh no, what's going on? Stop. I'm sorry, but the road is closed. Ah, Commander Sheridan, it's you. What? I must cross this bridge. Why is there a roadblock? There was a serious accident ahead of here. My orders are to stop all traffic on the bridge. I'm sorry, but it was a direct order, so I have to enforce it. No one gets through. These guys have been waiting here for hours. To think that... Why do people keep using those damned cars? Why not stay home like everybody else? Cars have been banned by the treaty, and the few mods that were allowed are a mess design-wise. I swear, this bridge is more often closed than it is open because of all these cr those crashes. How do we cross the bay, then? Don't ask me, Paul. I'm just doing my job. Guess you could try the east side. We have no time for the tour like that. Said, I think I know of an alternative path. Really? We could go through the forest. That doesn't sound like a good idea. We need to get to Ismail as soon as possible. Going back all the way to the east side is not an option. You said it yourself. And who knows when this road be, will, be, will be accessible again. Trust me, I know the wilds around here. It's not a safe journey, but think about what happened last night. Hmm. I don't think they'll be looking for me in the forest, after all. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. The forest is the west of you, right? We better hurry. Alright, before we leave this place, there's an interesting thing you can do here. Damage is what we needed, we'll never get 
get up that blasted mountain to fix the antenna. The boss is gonna kick my ass for damn sure. Now, this looks like there's a big deal over there going on. Have you ever played Earthbound? You know Earthbound has that big traffic jam in the desert? That is seemingly very long, but actually just a few cars. Well, with the menu glitch, we can go out of bounds and see what how big of a mess this is. Turns out it's just three cars and there's nothing on the other side at all. But what the most interesting part about this is that there is an arrow over there. Signaling we could actually enter there and it would warp us somewhere. Now the thing is, as far as I know, there is no way to revisit this place with these cars gone. So I don't know what that arrow over there is all about. Maybe earlier in development it was possible to come here when the blaze was cleared and then you could pass through and go to another area. I have no idea because as far as I know there's no way you can do that. Maybe there was something that was planned earlier in development but then later scratched. Anyway. We can now enter Rail Forest North. But we're gonna enter next time. See you in two days.